Hi, and welcome back to Scotty's Tech.info. I'm Scotty with my co-host Cletus the Tribble. Back in March, I published a video called Windows Won't Update, Fix It Fast. And in that video, I told you how to uh, basically just stop the Windows Update services and then delete a certain folder, the software distribution folder, and then you reboot, that restarts Windows Update, and poof. Uh, I claim that that will fix Windows Update problems in 99.9% .9 of cases. That number was perhaps a little bit high, because in reality about maybe 80% of people wrote and said, oh my god, you fixed my Windows Update, finally, thank you. And about 20% wrote and said uh, that it didn't work. And the number one reason why it didn't work is apparently when they look in the services uh, window, uh, they don't have Windows Update listed at all. So for this 20% of people where my fix did not work, uh, what do you do then? Well, there's a slightly more elaborate process you have to go through, but uh, this should actually fix it for all of you guys. So the first thing you want to do is download and install Malwarebytes. Now, the deal here is that if Windows Update is actually missing, most likely uh, something happened to your computer. It may not be malware, it may be some update happens, you know, something got borked, right? Uh, but in that kind of situation, step number one, if Windows Update, which is obviously a core part of Windows, if it's not there, you need to make sure you don't have any malware. Now, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, yeah, but Scotty, I run, you know, Super Malware Blaster 9000 Professional, and it's never let me down, and blah, blah, blah. I know. We all have our favorite uh, antivirus, anti-malware application, blah, blah, blah. But um, I kind of insist that people download and install the 14-day trial of Malware Bytes because... It has never failed me. Other packages have, this one has not. Uh, it's very, very good at finding everything. Um, it even removes ransomware, um, which brings me to an important point. You may not think that you have malware and that therefore your Windows update is not missing because of malware because, you know, you don't have any. The thing about malware is that uh, things like ransomware, you know, where it gives you a message and it locks your computer and it says, oh my god, you know, send one million Bitcoin to this address or will, you know, you know, your whole hard drive will be encrypted for forever. That's kind of like stupid malware. <laughs> Good malware is the kind where it's installed on your computer and it's hoovering up like, you know, logins and passwords and credit card info and bank details and all, all your private information, but you don't even know that it's there. That's smart malware. So, you can't really say, no, I don't have any malware, because if you have good malware on your computer, you'll never know it. So that's the other reason you need to try this, just to be sure. So what you're going to do is you're just going to go to malwarebytes.com, and you're going to click the free download for personal. Um, this gives you a 14-day trial, I believe. Um, yeah, blah, 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 malwarebytes free, you know. Uh, yes, we want to keep the file... Uh, that's going to download it for you. Then you're just going to go run the installer, and uh, when it opens, you are going to see something like this, and you're just going to do a scan. And let it do a full scan. Uh, when it's done, if it finds anything, it will automatically clean it up for you. If it does not find anything, that's totally fine. If it doesn't find anything, then I would say with a large degree of certainty that, in fact, uh, malware is not your problem. And if it does find something, it's going to clean it up, and that's going to make your Windows Update repair a tad more effective because it won't disappear on you again. So once that's done, you just kind of close that out, and now we're going to get into the good stuff. So what we're going to do is click the Start button, type Command, and then you want to run command prompt as administrator and you get this cute little window here and what we're going to do is we're going to type two different commands. Now the first command you're going to type in I'll put these down in the description or you can visit my website at scottystech.info so you can copy and paste but I'm just going to type them out is dism slash online slash clean up image slash restore health and you're going to press enter and let it rip now you'll see this is running the deployment image servicing and management tool so the deal is that windows kind of comes with this thing called a deployment image and um, 
more or less what that is is kind of like a safe image of the core Windows files sort of stored away on your computer. And this dism command is basically just going to go in and look at that image and make sure it's in good health. Uh, and the reason why will be clear in just a second. So you basically just have to wait for this to finish. It may take a minute, it may take well, 10, 15 minutes. Depends on the speed of your computer, the speed of your hard drive, but just be patient and wait till he finishes. Okay, so when it's done, it'll say 100%, the restore operation completed successfully. Operation completed successfully, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now that that's done, after you run the dism command, you're going to run the system file checker, and that is sfc space slash scan now. And you just press enter. And it'll say beginning system scan, this process will take some time. Okay, so the deal is that SFC is the system file checker. And after you update your deployment image and you make sure that there's nothing wrong with that, then you run the system file checker. And what that's going to do is use the deployment image and compare that to your actual installed uh, Windows core system files. And if there's any problem with any of them, for example, Windows Update, uh, SFC is going to find that and replace them for you. And then you're done. So we just wait for the verification and any repairs to complete, and then we move on to the next step. Okay, so you can see it says verification 100% complete, and uh, it says Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them, which, well, that's good. Okay, so now that that's done, uh, we can uh, close this command prompt window, and then we're going to come click on Start, type reg edit, re reg edit, Reg edit, reg edit. There you go. And then run the registry editor. Uh, yes, I want to allow it to make changes to this device. And what I'm going to do... Oh, this is annoying. Is you want to go to H key local machine. Then you want to go to system. Then current control set. Then services. And then you want to scroll down and find W W U A U serve. So let's scroll down. W right this guy W U A U serve. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click that folder and say delete. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. And then close the registry editor. Now, the final step is a file you're going to have to download. Again, I'll put a link in the description. You can find this on my website, scottystech.info. Uh, but anyway, you download this file. It's called windowsupdatefix.reg. And you just simply double-click that. Make sure your registry editor is closed. Double-click that guy and say, oh my god, this is super dangerous. Yes, okay, allow, it's fine. And it'll say, okay, those keys have successfully been added to the registry. And there, what we just did is... Uh, we went in and the Windows Update Service stuff that's in the registry, we just nuked it and then we re-imported it. So now the last step is close everything out, come down, and basically just restart. Okay, so now that you've restarted, you can go into Settings, click Update and Security, and click Check for Updates again, and poof! You should be up and running. So if the quick fix in my earlier video doesn't work, this is what you're going to do. You run the dism command, that fixes your deployment image. You run SFC scan now, which, which restores or fixes any corrupt uh, Windows update uh, files in your Windows installation. Then you go into the registry, which has a bunch of entries related to Windows update. You nuke them, you re-import them, then you reboot. And that's basically kind of like fully resetting Windows update. Essentially, it's kind of like reinstalling Windows update. And after you reboot, you check for updates, and you should be off and running. Now, with this one, dare I say it, in 99.9% .9 of cases, this will fix your problem. <laughs> Let's hope. For more techie tips, see scottystech.info. Thanks for watching. See you next time.